What's up, Bodoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about the Appraisals app. It's important to let our employees know how they're doing, set goals for them, and keep track of their progress. This helps them grow and become better employees. Their company may even reward their growth with a promotion or even a bonus. So let's dive into our database to see how the Odoo Appraisals app helps everyone successfully achieve their goals. All right, if we just started our database and don't have any employees configured yet, when we click into our Appraisals app, we are greeted with this new landing page, which prompts us to either add some employees or load demo data to view how the Appraisal app works and functions. Today, however, since we do have our database configured, Let's see how this works. We'll start by jumping into the appraisals app and here on the dashboard, we have the default filters here at the top. This shows us everything we have to do and groups all of our employees by each month. I can also see the employee's name, the department they're associated with, as well as the date of their next appraisal. To only view certain statuses, I can click on the left side menu here, for example, to see only the to confirm or the ones who have confirmed. But for a simplified layout to view all appraisals, we can go back to all, delete all of our filters here at the top, and put ourselves into the list view here. And then we can also view the statuses through the status column once again for further organization. Now let's take a look at some important settings by navigating to configuration and then to settings. Now under the appraisals template field, I've selected our default template, which Odoo provides by default, that allows employees to evaluate themselves as well as collect their manager's feedback. I can also make changes to this template by clicking this internal link arrow. And from here, I can make edits or add new questions, something like this. Just kidding. We're going to exit out of that and head back to our settings with the breadcrumbs. And next, we have our appraisals plans field. This is where I can set the time frame for when appraisal should be conducted and if I can gather other feedback. Now our current setup has an appraisal automatically created six months after the contract start of an employee, and then six months after that, and then another one 12 months after that. This is completely customizable, but this looks good, so we're gonna keep it as is. The number of appraisals an employee can request through the Odoo app depends on the minimum time between appraisals configured here. So be sure to keep that in mind as you configure your settings for your company. Next, we have appraisals automation field. With this box ticked, once the next appraisal date is reached, the appraisal is automatically confirmed on that date instead of waiting for the manager to manually confirm the date. So for example, if the next appraisal date is November 10th, on November 10th, the appraisal is automatically confirmed. And here on the right, we have the 360 feedback option. You can request feedback from any other employee other than the person's manager at the point during the appraisal process to gain more insights. And just so you know, this feature is a part of our surveys app, so you're going to need to have that installed. And just like the appraisals template, we can also click this internal link icon to further customize this default feedback template. We can change everything here from the questions to the format of how the questions are presented, the description of the survey, as well as the end message. For more information on creating surveys, check out our tutorial on the surveys app. Now, let's check back to our appraisals templates. We're gonna click on configuration and then appraisal templates. As you can see, Odoo provides a default template, but we can also add in a limited number of templates if needed. To add a new template, all we have to do is click new add a description, enter the questions we want to be answered, and then make sure to save that. But if we exit out of this and want to use a time-saving trick, click this box next to our default template, select actions, and then duplicate. Now I can just click duplicate and make all the edits to this specific default template. For example, if we click into this, we could rename this one to Carpentry appraisal and make this specific to the carpentry department. For this example, let's pretend we made some changes. So it's defaulted for that department. But after making all those changes, let's see how we can make this template just for our carpentry department. To do that, I'll click save, go to our employees app, 
click on departments and then select our carpentry department to open the department form. On this form, I'll select the appraisals template and change this from the default template to the carpentry template. Now all employees in this department will use the carpentry appraisal form when having an appraisal. That's pretty cool. You can configure different default templates for all of your departments. Okay, that's awesome, but let's head back to our appraisals app. And last, we're gonna look at the evaluation scale. We're gonna click on configuration again and click on evaluation scale. Here I can set a scale for our appraisals, which will show up in the drop down menu of our appraisals form. I can create a new evaluation by clicking new here. And let's enter something like superstar employee. We can also drag and drop this anywhere here to arrange the order, but it looks fine to me. Okay, now that we have all of our settings configured, let's talk about the appraisals workflow. We're gonna go to the appraisals dashboard and let's click on mark demo. First, I see that this still needs to be confirmed, so I'm just gonna confirm this now. Mark can enter all of his feedback here on the left, and I'd enter mine here on the right. The information he types here is not visible to me until he toggles this switch here, which would make it visible to the manager, AKA me. The employee would only do this when their half of the appraisal form is complete. Next, I fill out my half of the form, and when I'm finished, I can move this toggle to be visible for the employee. Once it's published, this information will still remain confidential. Only Mark, his manager, who happens to be me, and people with the proper access rights will be able to see this. Other employees won't. Now, as a part of the appraisals process, we also want to evaluate how our employees are progressing with their skills to development. We can do this here in the Skills tab. And as we see, the system automatically pulled up a list of Mark's skills and his current expertise from the employee's application. Since I know Mark has put a lot of effort into their pocket hole skills over the past few months, we can update their skills. So we're gonna update this from advanced and let's make him an expert. And then we'll just save this once again. Now that we've completed our feedback, we can set up a meeting to review this appraisal with Mark. To do that, we'll click this no meeting smart button and schedule a meeting on any of these dates. So we can do tomorrow and then just save and close. Then we'll use the breadcrumbs to get back to Mark and the new meeting date will now appear on the smart button and in the chatter as well. Perfect. Okay, now let's say we had the meeting and it went really well. As the manager, I can also leave a private note and this will only be seen by the other managers, not the employee. So let's put something like, nice, awesome skills. And for the final rating field here on the right, I'll choose a superstar employee from my evaluation scale because Mark's doing a fantastic job. And if we remember, we added that when we configured our appraisal. Then we can mark this appraisal as done And if we navigate back to the main appraisals dashboard, we no longer see Mark's appraisal because the default to do filter is active. However, if we do remove it, and go back to November, here we can see Mark's completed his appraisal for this month. Now, for a cool trick, we can also view and conduct appraisals through the employee's app. First, we'll navigate to the employee's app, select Mark, And here in his card, we could see their last appraisal date by clicking last appraisal. And after we click this, we can see all the information from his last appraisal populating this form. And we could confirm his next appraisal on the next appraisal date field. Wow, don't you love how our HR apps all work together and share information? Well, that's all for this lesson. Tune into our other appraisal tutorials where we dive deeper into individual appraisals, goals, reporting, and more.